Mount Davidson is our tallest point in San Francisco. It's merely four feet higher than Twin Peaks. It sits high above the San Francisco skyline. Mount Davidson can be seen from all over the Bay Area. With an elevation of 928 feet, it is the highest natural point in San Francisco, a spot where tourists and locals alike go for a unique and breathtaking view of the city. Word of mouth is getting out beyond just Maryland Park, just beyond the west side that, hey, you know, you want to see San Francisco, you need to climb to the top of Mount Davidson, and it's really becoming a bit of a destination spot. The cross is really the iconic landmark of the west side of San Francisco. Some people can say they live by Coit Tower, they live in the Mission, and that's what the cross is for the west side of the city. It's the landmark that says this is our part of the city. And sitting snugly on top of this mountain is the historic Mount Davidson Cross. The whole idea of everyone, regardless of your faith, should embrace the golden rule as a universal virtue as far as just the right way to treat each other. To me, that's what the cross represents, is the golden rule. People have been gathering at the top of Mount Davidson for an annual Easter sunrise service since 1923. It is good to be here all of a sudden when every year it happens. The tradition continues to this day. Jackie Proctor is a Mount Davidson historian who offers free guided tours of the mountain during the summer months. I was just really amazed at this park wasn't here by accident. It was the result of a campaign by a woman named Maddie Brown in the 1920s to save it from development. The first cross originally was located on the other side of the hill facing downtown. James Decatur hiked up here in 1923 and he thought it was the most amazing place and so we started this idea of having a, a sunrise event on Easter morning and 5,000 people hiked up here before dawn and he thought, wow, this is so many people. Let's do it again. Four temporary wooden crosses stood at the top of Mount Davidson from 1923 until 1933. Each came down over time due to arson and natural causes. It required a lot of steel and concrete. It's made of reinforced concrete, the same kind of material as the Coit Tower. The current 103-foot cross was built in 1933. It's 103 feet high. 10 feet wide at the base and tapers to 9 feet wide at the top. In March of 1934, President Franklin D. Roosevelt pushed a golden telegraph switch at the White House that turned on the floodlights at the cross as 50,000 people were in attendance. The Mount Davidson cross was featured in the 1972 motion picture Dirty Harry, starring Clint Eastwood. Starting in 1955, the Mount Davidson Cross was lit all year round. This stopped in 1976 due to an energy crisis. 20 years later, in 1997, the San Francisco Association of Evangelicals made a petition to once again have the cross lit all year. Their request backfired. Atheist groups took notice and wanted the cross to be torn down. All kinds of forces came up against the lighting of the cross and then they demanded the cross be torn down because it was sitting in public property. That resulted in this lawsuit being initiated because the, some people didn't like it being lit at all. The city was sued by the ACLU, an atheist group, about uh, violating the separation of church and state. The Bay Area Armenian American community found out about the lawsuit and got involved right away. 
Roxanne Makashjan is a member of the Armenian National Committee. There was an article in the paper that said that the city had decided they were going to auction off the top of Mount Davidson Park, which included this cross. We decided this might be the perfect place to both commemorate the Armenian Genocide and preserve this monument. The community pulled together and established the Council of Armenian American Organizations of Northern California. This group entered San Francisco's public auction for the Mount Davidson Cross. Going twice. Archbishop Aris Shirvanyan of St. John Armenian Church in San Francisco was their spiritual leader. The Mount Davidson Cross was either to be on sale or to be demolished. On my proposal, the executive board was very excited about the idea of acquiring this cross. We submitted an application to participate in the auction of the cross by the city hall. The auction is closed. So the Armenian Council won. The 103-foot-tall cross became the focal point of a constitutional challenge because it was located on public land. Well, now this is all private land, and the cross will stay put. Winning the auction energized the Bay Area Armenian American community. Since it is a, a symbol of tolerance, the council would like to adopt it as a, as a symbol or a, a memorial for, uh, for the Armenian martyrs. But there was more work to be done. The city put on the ballot Proposition F. The council now had to run a political campaign and convince San Francisco voters to vote yes on Proposition F. It was up to us to convince San Francisco residents that they should allow the Armenian American community to take custodianship of Mount Davidson Cross. They did just that. Proposition F passed convincingly. We became the legal owners of the Mount Davidson Cross. The citizens of San Francisco voted in favor of us being able to buy the site. The council was now free to focus its efforts on being the new guardians and custodians of the Mount Davidson Cross. They set about to clean up the area on top of Mount Davidson Park and fix the cross because it had a lot of wear and tear over the years. When you are an Armenian means you are a Christian. So I said, I did not have to in any way worry about their willingness to defend the Christian site. The cross belongs to all San Franciscans. We are just the guardians of the cross. In 1934, President Roosevelt dedicated this cross. In 1997, we Armenians preserved and protected it. Well, I guess if it was a giant dollar sign, it would have been okay. <laughs> but instead, we have something that represents something positive to a lot of people. We wanted this to be a memorial, not just to the Armenian genocide, but to all victims of genocide and human rights abuses. And that is what it became. On April 24th, 1998, Mount Davidson hosted the first annual Armenian Genocide Commemoration Service with Mayor Willie Brown in attendance. Since then, every San Francisco mayor has joined the Armenian community at the cross for this annual service. We will work to make sure that our educational curriculum reflects true history, that generations go well beyond and outside of the Armenian community that the Chinese Americans, the Japanese Americans, the African Americans, all of the people who've come to this great city and this country understand the genocide that happened to the Armenian family. This is a place where we as Armenians and others who have suffered genocide can come and mourn our ancestors. It is a place of beauty that refreshes our soul. After the memorial plaque was installed at the foot of the cross, the Council of Armenian American Organizations of Northern California faced a series of lawsuits. We got sued by Turkish organizations saying that we shouldn't be allowed to have a plaque. Paul Tursarkisyan and other lawyers with him fought valiantly to win those battles and they were successful and we were all successful. Who cares what it's dedicated to as long as the public monument remains on private property and privately maintained? I'm afraid my Turkish friends are on the wrong side of history in this one. It's time the United States stop playing footsie with people who want to rewrite history.
we've stopped tolerating this nonsense among those who would try to revise the story of the genocide against the Jews in Nazi Germany, and it's time we stop the nonsense when it comes to acknowledging the genocide against the Armenians in history. The preservation of the Mount Davidson Cross is a huge volunteer effort, as well as a huge financial effort. The challenges of owning a public landmark continue, and the volunteers depend on contributions and donations from the community. The council recently joined the San Francisco Travel Bureau so that we can have the area promoted for tourism throughout the world, so people will come and see this beautiful site. It was always a place through my youth that it really was a backyard over the last 10 years in my role here at City Hall, getting to know uh, the Armenian community, really appreciating what they have done to preserve that backyard for me and for everybody else in the neighborhood and throughout the city. The plaque, in fact, was stolen some years back, and that mystery has not been solved yet. So we are always on guard uh, about what's the next part of this saga, but it doesn't dissuade us from our pride uh, in being the stewards of Mount Davidson Cross and preserving it for generations to come. The youth of St. Vartan Armenian Church in Oakland joined the city's Park and Recreations Department to clean the immediate areas around the cross. For the past six, seven years, we've, we've come and uh, actually helped clean up. We want to keep the pathway as clear and safe as possible. Other people in San Francisco visit this place and when they come here, they can learn a little bit about what this cross means to us. And when I come here, I just, I just feel very proud because being an Armenian is important to me. The Mount Davidson Cross is lit twice a year, once for the annual Easter sunrise service and once for the annual Armenian Genocide Commemoration on April 24th. On these two evenings, the cross is visible for miles. Welcome to the 90th annual Easter Sunrise Service in Mount Davidson. The Easter Sunrise Service celebrated its 90th anniversary in 2012. Climbing Mount Davidson in the dark to find a lit cross at the summit, waiting for the sun to rise, is a unique and exhilarating experience. Groups from all over the Bay Area gather for this old San Francisco tradition. Now, there is a new Mount Davidson tradition. Every April 24th, since 1997, the Armenian American community gathers at the foot of the Mount Davidson Cross to commemorate the Armenian Genocide of 1915. With the dense San Francisco fog wrapping itself around the cross, Armenian clergy from around the Bay Area gather for a requiem service. We feel like this is our generation's gift to San Francisco, as well as a gift to the future generations of Armenian Americans of the Bay Area. We take our role in preserving Mount Davidson Cross very seriously and with great pride. It's a very special relationship to have a community that is so vested in a natural area, so vested in a park, so vested in such a important public space. 